box of five separate motors and motor controllers, which is really cool. Today we're building a rail system. This is what it looks like. You get a bunch of these motor controllers and stepper motors. This is really easy to wire. It's just four pins uh, for signal and then a ground and a positive end that takes five to 12 volts. So you can power it with an Arduino, but it's recommended to use an external power source, if, especially if you're gonna be drawing some heavy load. All right, so we're ready to go. This is pre-programmed to turn uh, based off the serial port and, uh, inputs on my keyboard. This is a prototype rail that I made. On this rail, we have a servo slider. This is what I was saying earlier though. So this is really cool. We're using 3D printer bands. This belt, it's going to get in the way. So we're gonna get a lot of tension. This is not a good design. But for today, it's gonna to be exactly what we need. Um, so we'll see what happens.